Hello and welcome to the Habit Coach Podcast, the bite-sized podcast filled with quick and easy actionable habits. Remember, great habits create that awesome life. I am Ashton Doctor, your Habit Coach. And today's fun fact of the day has to do with pain. Did you know that there are some people who are born with the inability to feel pain? Congenital insensitivity to pain or CIP is a condition where the person is born with an inability to process pain. Now this might seem like a dream for some of us who live with back pains and knee pains and migraines, but the truth of the matter is that most people born with CIP do not live very long. They have shorter lives than most because they do not know when an injury to their body is taking place. You see pain is a very important signaling technique that the body uses. It's almost as if the body is talking to us and telling us something. It's telling us something when something is injuring us or when something's wrong. And whenever we feel pain, we're instantly driven to do something about it. We ask for help, we call a doctor. Now the most common injury among people with CIP are burns. Because imagine not being able to tell if you're putting your hand in boiling hot water just because there was no pain. The body has been damaged, but you're completely unaware of it. In a similar way, we are all rarely aware of our bodies unless there is a pain in a particular area. We take our bodies completely for granted till there is pain. As soon as we feel the pain, we become acutely aware of our body and each movement that's taking place. Now, as I work on this podcast, I am in a tremendous amount of pain from a silly lifting injury in the gym. I had not warmed up properly before starting my exercises, and maybe I needed to make warming up probably a better habit in the future. But now that I am in pain, I am suddenly aware of all the things that I had taken for granted or not even thought about. Lifting my laptop bag off the floor is agony. Getting off the chair is pure pain. I feel it. It is sad, but we never spend time thinking about our body. till there is pain we only think of our ankle if it hurts or that we have a head when it aches now as your habit coach i want you to truly be aware of your body appreciate it in its painless form now there are two ways of doing this the first habit is something called the inner smile and i learned this from a qigong master called mantak chia here you sit down in a quiet place close your eyes you look inwards and you start smiling at each of your organs You can have a conversation with them. You can thank them for the work that they're doing for you tirelessly. You can go hello liver, hello spleen, etc etc. And when you reach the brain and thank it, it's like the brain thanking itself. So, self love. Now, this is the way you are aware and completely in sync with your body, your inner body. The next technique is a meditation technique called yoga nidra. Now, many people use this technique to fall asleep, but in reality, it is a technique of focused relaxation. In yoga nidra you lie down on your back and then you start from your toes and consciously relax them. Then you move to your ankles, your calves, your thighs and you keep moving up your body one part at a time. You're relaxing all these body parts and at the same time becoming aware of them. It is a sad state when we are so disconnected from our bodies that we only feel them or realize them when they are in pain. Why should only something negative drive us to awareness? So your super simple technique of becoming aware about your body starts by creating a habit of doing the inner smile or yoga nidra meditation. Be aware of your body and completely relax it. Become aware of your body when you're healthy and that is a power. Being aware of your body when you're in pain is a tragedy. Now if you like this podcast, don't forget to check out other interesting podcasts on the IVM network. You can listen to us on the IVM podcast app or ivmpodcast.com. You can also follow us on social media. We are at IVM Podcast on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to reach out to me, I am at Ashton Doc on Twitter and Instagram. We have a brand new habit coaching online course, quizzes, videos, and a lot more on the website awesome180.com. So check it out now.